discussed the impact of making regular, on-time mortgage payments and how the new reporting could imp impact the financial futures. Small business is central to the success and prosperity of our country. <coughs> it is upon small businesses that large businesses are built, employment opportunities are provided, and GDP is grown. It is within small businesses that we see the greatest examples of character and individual perseverance. By fostering a community which supports these traits, we can further the development of new business as well as the growth of existing business. In Hartsville, small businesses fill the shops of our downtown district. From unique clothing boutiques to local restaurants and furniture stores, Hartsville businesses have much to offer residents. Unfortunately, as is the case with many small businesses, funding is simply not available to modernize and improve operations. A lack of marketing and advertising exist, aesthetic upgrades are needed, and many local businesses are unable or unaware of the need to establish an internet presence. As a result of these shortfalls, many Hartsville residents choose to travel outside of town to do their shopping and dining. Our site team immediately recognized this as a growing concern. We established a foundation for a business incubator, a service which seeks to guide entrepreneurs and existing businesses in ways which will improve their operations. We drafted a business plan to outline the incubator and used that plan to seek grant funding for the initiative. Our efforts paid off. We were awarded a $50,000 grant to turn our proposed plan into reality. Working with the Hartsville Downtown Development Association, our team was able to target four local businesses with a great need for assistance. We divided our site into project teams, each focusing on a different business. Site students then met with the business owner, explained the incubator program, and performed a needs assessment. From this information, we were able to develop a plan for the business client, outlining the services to be performed, how the services will improve operations, and what the associated costs would be. Each project team then developed a cost proposal and submitted it to our executive council, which made the final decision on allocating the grant funds. One business, Furry Bookstore, is benefiting from improved advertisement around the store. The addition of new furniture and improved facilities to hold large events are adding to the functionality of Burry space. These renovations are providing a friendlier atmosphere and helping Burry expand its repeat client base. Another small business owner, Carla, approached our team in need of assistance. Carla operates a hair salon out of her home and has found much success doing so. Her training and certifications place her far above her competition. Unfortunately, not everyone in the surrounding community is aware that Carla's business even exists. During our initial meeting with Carla, we asked her, what one thing would best improve your business? Without hesitation, she replied, a website. Though Carla's repeat client base is strong, without a website, she cannot advertise to those who have not yet visited her business. By implementing a web presence for Carla, her home-based salon is constantly reaching new customers. To ensure the long-term sustainability of our efforts with Hartsville businesses, our team partnered with the Hartsville Chamber of Commerce. While the Chamber is a fantastic resource to local businesses, it has struggled to effectively communicate with these businesses in past years. In light of our efforts with the business incubator, the Chamber approached our team seeking assistance. They desperately needed a way to reach a larger portion of downtown businesses on a more regular basis. To satisfy this need, our team has begun implementing more frequent updates to the Chamber's website, an increased social media presence, and stronger participation from area businesses. The first year of this small business development program has been inspiring. Our team has had the opportunity to meet, learn from, and assist four amazing businesses. A conservative approach to financial allocations has ensured that we will continue to help, to help many small businesses in Hartsville. Next year will be even more amazing. With assistance from our local school organization, our team will be paired with entrepreneurs seeking to begin their business. We will be able to provide them with useful information as well as financial resources to assist them in their first years of operation. As we continue to expand the number of businesses we are working with, one thing is certain. The long-lasting, positive impact of this project is sure to be noticeable throughout downtown Hartsville. Hartsville is located in the PD region of South Carolina better known to many as the Corridor of Shame. This term refers to the notorious lack of quality education in South Carolina's rural schools. 
In our county alone, only 44% of those who begin high school graduate within four years, and even fewer choose to pursue college after that. While this problem has many roots, one major barrier to college for many PD high school students is insufficient SAT scores. Without competitive SAT scores, high school students simply aren't admitted to college. Many are discouraged by the lack of achievement and choose not to matriculate. Still, even more so unsure about their ability to perform well on the SAT that they simply decide not to take it. South Carolina is known for its poor SAT results. With an average score of only 985, South Carolina ranks 45th in a list of state SAT averages. While there have been other efforts to increase the number of college-bound high school seniors, without improving the students' SAT scores, these other initiatives were not as effective. To address this growing concern in the community, our, approach to local our team approached a local church who had previously supported SAT preparation programs. They affirmed our belief that such a program was needed in the region and were able to provide advice based on their past successes and failures. With this information, our team set out to develop our very own SAT prep program. Our program consists of two six-hour sessions with high school students. Utilizing popular commercial materials, students are given a practice test, which they are allotted the same amount of time they would receive on the actual SAT. SLIFE students then review the answers for the practice test with the students and teach a course which explains how to properly answer every problem. Each section of the SAT is meticulously examined by the participating students, and they're given the chance to practice and improve on their test scores. Additionally, SLIFE students teach a lesson regarding proper test taking strategies and tips for preparedness. In only its first year, our SAT prep program has been a tremendous benefit to the community. Through our partnership with local high school administration, 25 students registered and attended the two Saturday sessions. Each student paid only a nominal fee, which was used solely for the purchase of course materials. As a result of their participation, these high school students are now better prepared to take the SAT. They have learned valuable test taking strategies in the classroom and have SAT preparation material that they can use to continue their studies individually. High school students who complete an SAT preparation program can expect an improvement on their next SAT of between 50 and 100 points. If such a program were spread across our entire state, South Carolina could expect to be in the top 30 performing states instead of the bottom five. Our efforts this year have had a profoundly positive impact on our community. Through our partnerships with local organizations, we've effectively determined the greatest areas of need in our college, our city, and our state. Through our projects, we have been able to start the process of satisfying even the greatest of these needs within the business, education, and nonprofit sectors. Our work, however, has just begun. Developing a SIFE team is not only a great addition to Coker College, but a commitment to the world. It's a commitment that as college students, we are ready to give back to the communities that have provided us so much. It's a statement that we're tired of simply pointing out problems. We are ready to solve them. It is hope, hope for a community that has so much to gain, but lacks the opportunity to change. Coker SIFE is not only about college students. It's about those who have yet had the opportunity to attend. Coker Scythe is not just about businesses. It's about businesses whose need for assistance outweighs their resources or abilities. Coker Scythe is not just about one-time projects. It's about sustainable initiatives that solve real problems in the community. Coker Scythe is a promise. A promise to the world that we will continually empower each other through the power of free enterprise. We are Coker Scythe, and this is what we represent.